Hi, welcome to the Mammoth Tech Show. I'm Jeff, and today we're talking about the Osmo Action Camera and a particularly touchy subject for it, and that's external mics. The DJI Osmo Action Cam is a very capable little camera, and if you've seen any of our recent shows, you'll probably have seen footage shot on it. The Osmo Action shares a lot of similarities with its inspiration, the GoPro in its general shape, the fact that you can add lots of attachments and mounts to it, and the fact that it doesn't as standard come with a 3.5mm external mic input. Just like the GoPro, you need to buy an extra accessory that plugs into the USB port to give you that external mic option. Now, DJI don't make their own adapter, but on the website they recommended a little cube-like adapter made by Sinova. And initially this was quite difficult to get hold of, and when it did arrive, there were initial reports that the quality coming out of it really wasn't that good. Cameras like this are popular with vloggers, and so good sound quality is important. If this includes you, then you may have been initially put off by this early report about the sound quality, but has it improved? Let's find out. So over to the Osmo Action Cam, and this is what the normal built-in microphone sounds like. Now let's attach that little adapter and go for a few different options and we'll see, or rather hear, what they sound like. So this is what it sounds like with a Rode video mic attached. Actually, it's the old video mic me with the original 3.5mm adapter. But I'm kind of just chuntering now, just so you can hear what it sounds like. If you've watched any of our recent episodes, you may recognize this little fella here. He's a Rode Wireless Go. Now this model has recently been replaced, but the new model is quite a bit more expensive, although it does have some additional features. But that does mean that this model is now often reduced. And so if you like what you hear, this could be a good option for you. So as you can hear, the external mic input from this Sinova adapter works fine. There is another adapter made by Hensic, which uses exactly the same product shots as this. But unfortunately, I can't talk about the quality of that because I haven't tested that one. But what about the Osmo Action itself? Well, it's an excellent little camera. You should be seeing some test footage playing over the top now. And I've been using it for a while and I've been very pleased with the results. The app that allows you to control your camera from your phone is also very solid. When you first connect the camera, it takes a few more steps than you think it really should. But once it is connected, it works very well. It even gives you a real-time mic input indicator, potentially saving you from the heartache of discovering that that really good shot you've just taken actually doesn't have any sound. That's a really useful feature. If you're looking for a little external mic capable camera to replace or just supplement your phone then the Osmo Action is a good choice. It's been out for a while now, so an upgraded model is probably due sometime soon, but this current model is still excellent, and it certainly trades blows with its arch nemesis, the GoPro. And Zeus has decided to join us. And
So what are your thoughts on the DJI Osmo Action? Or do you have another choice for a mic enabled camera? Maybe the old GoPro is your preference. Put your comments in the old comments box below. And if you enjoyed this, please give this video a like because it really helps the channel. If you'd like to see more from us, why not subscribe? But for the time being, I've been Jeff. This has been Zeus. We've been talking about the DJI Osmo Action and its external mic and you've been very kind to watch. Thank you very much. Say no, no, do If you're looking for a little external mic cape for low Zeus. <laughs> okay, crazy Zeus time. And he's gone.